Hello, my name is Julie and yesterday this channel actually was one year old but I haven't filmed in five months because life, I guess. So that's my first reading goal for 2019, if you can call it that, to try to post like every week or so on this channel. But as a start, I want to look back on my TBR that I posted about a year ago and see how I did. First, I wanted to read the Shadowhunters. I have the six books in the Shadowhunters series and the three books in the now. Now I have all the three books in the Mortal Instruments as well. So I really want to like read through the whole series and get on with the new ones because I heard it's only getting better and better. Yeah. So this year I really want to read the Shadowhunters and the Mortal Instruments. Next uh, was After You by Georgia Mers. I haven't read it yet <laughs> and I don't know why but I would still want to read it. And then I wanted to read All the, all the Bright Places. This one I read, I gave it four stars. Uh, I have some conflicting feelings uh, dealing with like representations and the book itself, but all in all, it was a good book. So, four stars. Another book I haven't read is The Hate to Give, and I'm really late with this one, so it's on top of my TBR for 2019. Then I listed Lea Mira's uh, Chara or Dearest, uh, which is letters she, she wrote or wrote on and or sent <laughs> to uh, family and friends and like someone working at the store and everything uh, during the time she was dealing with a lot of like depression and oh eating disorder and things like that I think it was really good and I gave it five stars and how to be a Parisian Parisian this one I read like on and off for some time, but I haven't finished it yet. I didn't read it at all, I think, in 2018, but I'm soon at the halfway point, so I still want to read it because it's actually pretty good and have like a interesting view on life and things like that. The last book I had on my TBR for 2018 was 60 Women You Should Have Met, I guess, and it's an Norwegian female history, or like 60 awesome women who meant a lot to the feminist movement in Norway. As I said last time, it's written as a comic. And I think this was really good, uh, a lot, learn a lot, and it's one of my favorite like feminist books that I read during 2018. So why don't we just get right into my reading goals for 2019 and I have like these books that I want to get through but like The Shadow Hunters and The Hate to Give but I want to focus more on like not specifically reading one book but reading but reading a certain kind of book. I want to Try to film one video each week or more on my booktube channel. Both like and subscribe if you want to see if I can do that. <laughs> then I like to complete three readathons at least. I also want to read one book in English that is at least 20 pages. As for my Goodreads reading goal, I last year I put it on 25 books because I didn't surpass my 27 goal of reading more than 25 books. Uh, every year I have up my reading goal with five books, uh, but every year I have also like finished it with more than uh, like one or two or three books more. So last year I did not uh, up my reading goal, and I actually read sixty books. Some of them was like uh, the saga, comics or graphic novels, and books like that, but. Um, all in all, I still read read 60 books, which is pretty sick, I think. Uh, so 
I won't go all crazy and think that I can actually read 60 books again uh, because now I I don't commute anymore which was like my main place to read and um, I have finished the whole saga so that's eight books <laughs> that's um I need to try to find an uh, alternative to if I want to no if I want to read 60 again but I have set my goal to 40 books this year and I hope to finish that one I also have like a lot of uh, reading goals on my day zero list I'm gonna link the day zero project down below if you want to check it out but essentially it's you set 101 goals and you have 1001 days to complete it which is about three years I think so uh, I have like read a classic or read Sherlock Holmes and Romeo and Juliet and um, read one hour every day for 30 days and goals like that and I want to read 100 books during that time last year I also have like an unofficial goal to read all the books on my current reading list on Goodreads and that I have done so this year is a goal to not have like three unfinished books on that goal uh, currently reading on Goodreads because that was quite annoying and now I finally have just one book it's okay to read more books than once but several of those books have been on my currently reading for probably over a year so <laughs> yeah we will see how this goes and I hope I can be more consistent. I have two videos that I didn't get around to editing, which was uh, a reading wrap up for the Biennial Bibliothon and the 24 and 48 hour readathon in the summer. <laughs> uh, that was the last videos I made, but I didn't get around to edit the last one. The other one is a road trip vlog. Uh, with my boyfriend when we drive like halfway across, across the country in Norway which takes 12 hours to Trondheim uh, a cabin we have there so I try to film some places and you get to see like the nature and things so let me know if you want to see any of those videos but that was all for now and I will be back like for the top list uh, TBR for my 28th 19 because I have some books I really want to get around to reading but yeah that was my reading goal for 2019 and how I did with my TBR for 2018 so hope to see you soon talk to you in the comments bye